Hi, my name's uh, Wayne Nichols. I'm a comic book artist based in Brisbane, Queensland. Comics is just something that I've been into uh, my whole life. So I was reading Mad Magazine and Footrot Flats uh, when I was a kid and progressed from that onto um, Marvel Comics and, and um, DC Comics that I found at a newsagent when I got to about 15, 16 years of age. Marvel Comics have influenced me in you know, a massive amount of ways, starting with getting the book um, How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way, written by Stan Lee and uh, drawn by John Basima. Uh, that was one of my, um, it was like a Bible of how to draw superhero comics. I mean, John Basima is, is like a god amongst men of drawing um, comics and really defined the look of a lot of those, the way superheroes are done today. The most enjoyable part of my job is um, just pure drawing for fun, like sitting at my desk every day. I mean, for example, working on the, the Goma Spider-Man piece was uh, getting to draw Spider-Man. That was, you know, during Come True, I love Spider-Man as a character. And to do him in such a dynamic, um, action-packed pose, like swinging through New York. The size of the artwork started as very small um, layout sketches. Then I did that as around A4 size um, concept sketches in Photoshop. Then from that step, I printed those out and lightboxed them onto paper at around um, A4 size as well, about the same. And then I took that back into Photoshop and inked it at around A3 size. So, I mean, it's all pixels in the, in the computer, but the, on paper it was A3, A4 size and um, digitally it was A3 size. So to see it blown up this big is pretty cool. So part of the process was to have a team of mural artists come in and paint the mural up large on the wall. And they were doing an amazing job and incredibly faithful to the line work, which just, I mean, that blew my mind to see it so accurately reproduced. It added a few things that um, on the small scale that weren't noticeable, but when you blow it up large, it's like, oh wow, okay, you could add some detail here, you could touch it up there. So um, gave them a little bit of feedback and sort of went through things with them. Um, later on in the stage, added some detail here and there. Okay, so one of the big things I did uh, when I came in and um, saw the mural artist painting is gave him a few suggestions, you know, to other people it might not mean anything, but I really liked the hatching on the leg there, you know, the way it's sort of crossed over and it's, it's, it's incredibly accurate to the way I do hatching, really small scale on paper, and to see it blown up large like that is quite cool. And also on the webbing over here, you can see that it's got quite a bold outline on it, which allows the webbing to be pronounced from the background details and sort of pop out of the page and lead you straight into the um, rest of the exhibition over the left there. It's really amazing to see my artwork like blown up on this scale. Generally, I'm used to seeing it at comic book size, you know, inside a computer screen. It's like a bucket list thing that I can kind of like put a notch on my belt and say, well, there's your version of Spider-Man representing um, modern day Spider-Man and there's the history of the character and uh, it sort of it ties them together and there's the legacy there that people when they come to the show can see, you know, the, where the character started and uh, where it's kind of going in the future with the cinematic universe.